Hello everyone. Welcome to Heartbeat Studio PH. Today I'm going to assist you to this tutorial. But before anything else, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Tessa. Your text speech assistant. I am your guide throughout all of the tutorials in this channel. And without further ado, let's go start. Previously from the last tutorial, we talk about the Photoshop interface and the parts of it. Today, we will discuss on how to organize the Photoshop panels. What we are looking at, is the graphical user interface, or GUI of Adobe Photoshop CS6. It is our communication vehicle into this application. We communicate with the program, and tell it what to do with tools, panels, and fold down menus. It's our way of making this program works. But we can design or work with other types of interfaces than what you see. I'm currently on what we called Essentials tab right up here. That's a little different than the earlier version. It used to be a buttons around here, for all different types of workspaces. Now, you click here and you can see the different ones. If I ever move with the Essentials, I'll let you know. But most of the time, I probably hear in Essentials. But, we have one for motions. We have one for photography, typography, and different ones. Let's go ahead, and put it back to essentials. As many of these as there are, there is going to be a time when you feel like there's things up there that you just don't need for what you want, or you need something else, and their definition of essentials is not yours. So, obviously, we can rearrange the furniture. Maybe that's a good term for this. Let me give you a couple of tricks on how you do that. These three layers, channels, and paths, which to me are very important parts of Photoshop. They are in what's called a group. If I want to move that whole group away from this area here, because they're all linked together, I don't grab a tab. That would move just one. I say, right about here and I can drag it over. This is now a group that's free-floating. Which, of course, is probably exactly in the spot where I need to work. But if we want to take it back, we can do the same thing. We grab it up here, and we drag it over. Now you're waiting for that little blue line to appear, and what happens to the area you're dragging, it becomes semi-transparent and we're back to the way we started. If you want to move them around one at a time, you grab the tabs, so let's go ahead and do that. And again, of course, what we're really doing here is decreasing our workspace to show you how this all works. These over here are what you called collapsed, if you click on them, they open up. We can do the same thing with these. For example, I can pull layers over here. Now I'm not waiting for the line to go blue up and down. I'm waiting for it to go blue right underneath this one, and if I let go, I've collapsed it. I can do that to all three. Let's drag it out again. Let's go ahead and open it by clicking the two little arrows on it. I'm going to pull these back in, by grabbing the tab name for channels, and putting it in here, and I'm dragging it up here, until I see that area go transparent, and then I'm letting go. So we could put them back together if that's something you wanted to do, or you could add another panel to that. Another way we can work these a lot of times, I like to see channels and layers both open at the same time. So I'm going to pull channels out of here, which makes it a freestanding panel. I'm going to grab it up here. I'm going to drag down until I see that blue line appear, and that panel almost goes away. And I let go. And now they're linked together. Let's go ahead and take that back out. And pull it back in here. Now I've got layers, paths, and channels, and I want layers, channels, and paths. So I can grab channels and move it over, to actually put them in the order that I want. And again, you can put as many in there as you want. If we move this over and wait for the blue line to appear left and right, 
we now have a group. Notice this little line. That little line right here and here identifies that as a group, which means if I click on one of these, actually all three come up at the same time. So we can, in a sense, rearrange the furniture any way that you want. If there is something you need and you don't see it over here, because we're in essentials, you can go to the word window, and all of the panels that you need that you want to get to are right here. We could pull out one of these, layer comps, I suppose, and we could take layer comps over here and then move it into something else. If you don't want layer comps, you can click the X button right there, and it'll collapse back out and put it back up here under window. One way to tell what you have currently open are the check marks. If you see the check marks, it's telling you exactly what you have open at any space of time. Now let's do this, let me go ahead and collapse that. Let's move this group back out again. Let's go click the two little arrows at the top and move it here. I'm going to come up here to Essentials and change into, let's say, Painting. Of course, that's going to change, but if we go back to Essentials, it doesn't go back to the default Essentials. It assumes you've modified temporarily Essentials, and you want to leave it this way, but no, I don't want to, and I don't want to manually try to put everything back. So if I come up to the word Essentials, there is a reset whatever one you're on, right here, and if I click that, everything is back to the way Adobe thinks Essentials is. You can make, you can create, you can design your own workspaces. And in the next lesson, we'll talk about saving them. Thank you for watching. If you have questions about this tutorial, please comment down below, and I'll answer it as soon as possible. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Again, this is Tessa. Your text speech assistant. See you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.